All right, guys, let's get started. Before we get started, let's have some turmeric tea. I absolutely love this stuff. My sister first introduced me to it, and um, it was amazing. I found this recipe on Pinterest, so you guys can look on there to get the recipe. Oh my gosh, there's not a lot of ingredients that go into this tea. Tea. Guys, this is amazing. As you can see here, I don't measure because I'm so used to making it. I just put it in because I know exactly how I like it. So I'm showing you guys the ingredients as I, or right before I, I dump them into the pot so you can kind of see. It's cayenne pepper. Um, I use almond milk in this. I'm using black pepper in this. Um, you guys, I'm using um, the turmeric powder. I'm gonna actually put that in at the very end because you don't want too much of that. It can make it very bitter, so make sure you follow instructions when, when doing that. Uh, been there, done that. You don't want to do that. So I think I use a teaspoon of the turmeric powder and then you stir it together. Oh my gosh, it tastes really good to me. It has a little bite, like a little kick, a little hotness, and I like it. My husband does not like this tea at all, guys. I absolutely love it. And then you sweeten it at the end. After you pour it into your cup, you want to sweeten it. At this time, I'm just showing you guys how much turmeric powder that I use because you don't want to go over this. It will be really bitter. So I'm only using a teaspoon of it. As you can see here, I'm putting it in there and I'm just going to stir that up because this is the end of um, the recipe. Once I put this in the cup, look at how beautifully golden that is. Oh my gosh. And it tastes so good. Look at that. I know you guys can see that on camera. Now look at that. It's like a golden orangey look, orangey yellow look. Time to turn that off. And we're gonna get that set up right in the cup, in the mug, looking all pretty. In my mug with my initial on the front, yes. Y'all see it? Y'all see it? Look at them colors together. That reminds me of fall, but we ain't talking about fall right now, guys, because we trying to get into spring, okay? Oh yes. Now, remember that this turmeric powder will stain stuff, including your teeth, so be careful. I'm showing you the cinnamon sticks here because if you want to add a cinnamon stick, you can do that too. You don't have to add the cinnamon powder. And then the raw honey. I'm going to add my honey at the end here. Add as much honey as you want. You don't have to do as much as me. You know, do whatever you want. Add your honey, stir it up. In a way, a trick that I use in order to keep your teeth nice and clean and unstained with this yellow turmeric powder is I add a little straw in it. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty. Guys, we stopped at the thrift store and I just could not turn my back on this beautiful find. O-M-G. Now could you have walked out of the thrift store? Look how much this costs online. Oh my gosh, expensive, okay? I actually paid $50 for this. There was hardly anything wrong with it. I mean, the bones were good. Look at it. It has a few water stains on it. Um, the magnets in the inside, one was missing, so we just replaced that. Uh, the structure, look at it. The bone structure, everything was beautiful on this. To me, it was worth $50. You guys see how much it was. Um, I put that up there. It was over $2,000, and I got it at the thrift store. All you have to do is spray it out, clean it out. I moved my bookshelf out of here. I listed it on Facebook, sold it, and this replaced that bookshelf. You can see the bookshelf right here. That bookshelf was sold the same day that I listed it. And guys, this took the place of my bookshelf in my prayer room. So this is just a prayer room refresh. Absolutely adore this project. When I saw it, I got excited because I knew what I can do with it. I can see it in my mind, you guys. I was like, honey, I gotta have this. And he said, absolutely, babe. I know you're gonna do something special with it. So look at the inside of it. So much shelving space. Just like I had the bookshelf, I had all my books and everything, I can actually conceal it now and put it inside this. And as you can see, one of the magnets are still there. The other one was actually, it actually did come with this. It was stuck to uh, another part of it. So we actually just went to the store and bought new ones to make everything work out. As you can see, I taped it off. I took all the doors off the, um, the hinges. I took all of the... Um, hinges off, everything. I just unscrewed it all and I laid it all flat. I used boxes, whatever I had, I used that as my workstation because you guys know that just because I don't have a workstation don't mean we can't make it. Now this is the gel stain that I use. I ordered this from Amazon. So it just depends guys on how much you need. Go to amazon.com, place your order, but make sure you get the amount that you think you might use because a little goes a long way and it's not, you know, um, Cheap is not extremely expensive, but it's not cheap. 
All right, so I'm just showing you guys ways here that you can apply this, and there are videos on YouTube on how to use the general uh, finishes uh, gel stain. And you guys know I use this all around my house, in my kitchen, on my cabinets, I use it on my stair rail. I love this stuff, and I love this color. If you know me, and you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that chocolate, brown, anything in the family of browns is my favorite color. And this is absolutely gorgeous. This is what I saw in my mind, but it absolutely turned out more beautiful than I could even think of in my mind. I'm showing you guys that it's easy to apply. You can use a paintbrush, as you see here. You can use a sponge or a foam roller. You can use, I mean, oh my gosh, look at this. I'm using a roller here, but you guys see the paintbrush, and you can also use like the uh, sponge brush. I use all three, you guys, just to get into the crevices and everything. It's so easy to apply. I absolutely love this stuff. The only issue is it takes 30 days to cure. I don't like the wait time, but it's worth it because you have pieces that last you for a very long time after they cure, and I love it. Now, the heavier you put it on, the thicker you put it on, the darker it's gonna be. So if you don't want it that dark, be light-handed uh, when you're, you're applying it. I was heavy-handed because I like mine to be dark. So, and it depends on how many coats. So I was able to put two to three coats on this and I made sure I let them dry 24 hours in between. That's how long I let mine dry. And then I um, made sure that I put the coats on and then I flipped it. Once it was completely dry, I flipped it. So, oh my gosh, look at this. Look at how shiny it is, you guys. Look at how shiny it is. I absolutely love it. It looks brand spanking new. It's been cleaned out, it's been sprayed out, wiped down, and now it has this beautiful gel stain on there. And you, as you can see, you can kind of see it bleeding through a little bit. That's because I hadn't applied the next coat yet on the inside. But the more coat you apply, the darker it gets. I absolutely love it. You guys can see here, here, here <laughs> how dark it is. Oh my gosh, I am absolutely loving this. Take a look at it. Take a look at it. Yes, yes. Come through chocolate beauty. This is giving me life, you guys. And I haven't even uh, put the top coat on yet. Mm, mm, mm. Look at how beautiful that is. Now this is the gel top coat. This is satin. You can get it, um, you don't have to get it in satin, you guys, but I got mine in satin because I like that shine to my stuff. So, oh my gosh, I applied this. And it's so simple and so easy to apply. Mm, look at how beautiful that is. This did not come with handles. Me and my husband decided to add handles um, at the, you know, the last minute after we finished it. This is my old table in the prayer room. I absolutely love this table. I think I got it from Wayfair or Overstock. I can't remember. But I listed this on Facebook and it sold right away also. So I was able to get rid of that table because I found this table at a different thrift sto store out of town for $15 and it's the Martha Stewart collection by Bernhardt and if you guys know about Bernhardt furniture it is sturdy it took three older gentlemen to pick this table up because it's so heavy you guys and put it in our van it had a few scratches on it but it was an absolute gem 15 bucks do you guys know how expensive this table is oh my gosh I absolutely love this table it is sturdy it is heavy and you guys can see now what it's looking like because the first pictures had scratches on it I had to sand it down and then I applied the uh, gel stain. The same gel stain that I applied to the other um, piece of furniture here in the prayer room. And then I changed out the knobs. I kept the knobs because I like them, but I changed them out so that they could uh, match uh, the rest of the prayer room a lot better than the gold knobs that came with it. But look at how beautiful and shiny that is. Brand new table, guys. It looks brand new. You never know I paid $15 for it. I absolutely love it. And then you know I had to refresh the curtains because if I'm bringing in new furniture, I had to bring in new curtains. So I decided to get longer curtains, 95 inch curtains. I ordered from Amazon. I ordered the shears and the curtains. And I had my husband to um, just move my curtain rod up a little bit. So when he took it all the way to the top, it just kind of makes my windows look bigger. And I got rid of all of my 84 inch curtains on the first floor. So I only keep those upstairs in the bedrooms. We're not doing that on the first floor anymore. We're, we're trying something new in 2022, okay? So I'm gonna take these off, I'm gonna get rid of those. And I actually bought a new curtain rod also that's silver and it has um, crystals on the end of it. So it kind of goes better with this room. As you can see, I moved these picture frames in here and 
I did that around Christmas time, so you guys probably remember that, but it goes better because it's the mirror picture frames, and I just printed um, the prints off, the printable prints from Pinterest and added those to the frame. I'm absolutely loving this room. I added the candles, and I also added the gold chain, um, chain links in front of the plants, and I put those in a tray. This table is absolutely huge. I don't know if you guys can tell how big this table is, but it is huge and it is beautiful. As you can see, my Bible is in the background there. Um, I love this table. The shine to it, just everything about it, I adore it. I think that this table and the other piece that I purchased from the thrift stores, two separate thrift stores, are absolutely beautiful and they just make this room pop. This is what the inside of the drawers look like. And as you can see, I got a little bit of stain um, on the inside of the drawers. But guys, I love this table. Don't mind the dust because this is an up close um, and personal uh, take right here. But I hadn't shined it up yet. So don't mind the dust. Just kind of look past it and look at the beauty. Believe me, it was shined up after the video. But don't worry about that because I wanted to get this to you guys. I wanted you guys to see that you can go to the thrift store and thrift pieces and make them look like they're brand new. Just kind of spring up your house, I mean, refresh your house a little bit, but you wanted to um, stay within budget, try the thrift store, you guys. There's nothing wrong with trying the thrift store and putting a little work in. It took 30 days for this to cure also, but it just brings everything together. Those two stools that I picked up, I ordered those from Amazon. Those are perfect. I, I wanted something small for company when we're having prayer or um, if people just need somewhere to sit in the family when they're coming over and they want to do Bible study with us, they can sit on those. So at this time, the only people that have used those are my two granddaughters who um, absolutely claimed those and said that they were theirs. And you can see them in that picture right there. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, guys. If you are liking what I'm bringing to you, thumbs up the video. Oh my gosh, check out this prayer room. Just a refresh from two pieces of furniture that I thrifted and oh my gosh, they look absolutely gorgeous. It just changed up the whole room. Don't forget to drop down in the comments, you guys, and let me know what you think about these pieces and the refresh of my prayer room. And let me know what you're doing in your own homes. I would love to hear it, you guys. We are friends over here. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me, Shawanda Latrice. Until next time, guys. Bye.